Um, just a reminder, this is live, so these quotes are good to go uh, as soon as. So if you want to raise your hand and uh, we'll get going. Guy Havard from Sky Sports, please. Hey Stephen, uh, many congratulations. Uh, what's the feeling from your point of view at the moment? Is it one of relief? Um, well, I'm not sure, but we're delighted uh, just to get a, well, we're pleased to get a first win. And I think uh, long overdue, of course. And um, we're looking forward to Hungary on Tuesday. You know, they, they've had a they've had a situation, a big turnaround. Hungary, they're very interesting, and uh, they've topped, end up top of their group, and qualifying for the Euros. So it's a good game for us on Tuesday. And we're gonna they'll be up a level again. So we want to try and improve for Tuesday. And um, so um, there's a good. Very strong second half tonight, and the players can take confidence from that. What did you make of the performance overall as a whole? I think probably early on, our midfield players were a little deep receiving the ball, and uh, there's big gaps between our midfield and attacking players, and weren't cohesive, and they were difficult to break down. They are a difficult team in terms of they're very well organised on door, and they. They uh, don't concede that many chances in their matches. In the in the last window that we watched, even though they they conceded less 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 actually chances than goals, it was, it was um, interesting. But I think uh, you know when we got the first goal, it was definitely a turning point for us in the game. With Troy Troy showed a lot of character to get the first goal. It was a bit of pressure on the players after conceding. And then we were very cohesive after that, and confidence, confidence is an important thing in football, and we created, you know, a lot of chances then, and took took part in some very good goals, and um, so listen, we understand it's a match that the expectation is you, you win it, so we're not patting ourselves on the back, but we're just saying um, the players responded well from going a goal down in the second half, which which they did, you know, so credit to them. Stephen. Damien Spalman, please, PA. Hey, Stephen, just one from me. Um, can we get a glimpse tonight of what Troy Parrott might be able to offer Ireland in the years to come? Uh, listen, I, th I think he, he will get better. Um, I think he was really more fluid a year and a half ago in his movement. He was lighter on his feet and more fluid in his movement and had real instinctive creativity he's grown into his own body in the last year and a half and all of a sudden he's got stronger shoulders and he's not moving as fluently and he, and you know as fluidly uh, i think yeah uh, um and that's that's been a factor for him and i think what he needs is uh confidence because you know all young players they need good to, good experiences for them to improve again and he's had uh, loan spells where he's actually had some good games but he's played on the left a lot and in different positions and maybe not been prolific in front of goal so um i do think that he uh, is still very young and he still has a lot of improvement to do and people that aren't sure what his best position is. Um, but um, he has the ability to create, create and score goals. And that's, that's um, you know, we need a, as much as that as we can get, you know. Thank you. Gavin Cooney, please. Hi, Stephen. Congratulations on the result. Um, just to, uh, I, Richie Sadler said at halftime in RTE that uh, the Andorran players press, that bamboozles your players. Uh, would you accept that your players struggled with that press in the first half? And if so, how could you explain it? Uh, listen, in, in, the, in the last three games, the last camp, they played uh, sort of 5-2-3 uh, system, but they obviously went with a back four, played... Uh, Four four sort of one one, um, and um, in the system, I think they, uh, you know, I wouldn't say they bamboozled us. We just our movement from 
a wide like Jason Knight is not a natural wide player I suppose and Ronan and we, we didn't have that cohesive movement between our midfield two maybe our midfield two collect they were dropping into areas too deep to receive it in the full back areas which sometimes can be very effective in control in a game against really top class opposition dropping into those positions and helping you control the game but against opposition that are sitting off you it's not effective you know um, so I think um, we, we needed to get Josh and Connor in central areas and forward up the park and, and play good and decisive passes into them and let them link with the with their attacking players in a way that they did in the second half. So um, um, the we knew that our best, you know, one of the ways because the way they defend, we could score off crosses potentially, and um, obviously particularly from deep positions. And Conor Huran, that was something that we sort of we worked on a lot this week, and he. Um, it was a great cross for Troy for the second goal. And obviously the good quality crosses from Daryl for Jason's goal and for Jason himself. And I suppose the second half and the first half, Jason Knight has not played on the right for a while. He played, he got six goals playing there the previous season for Derby. But he's not played on the right a lot this year. So it's not as natural, necessarily his natural position, but he, um, the difference in him in the second and the first and second half is a big difference in performance. He's very wide in the first half, which is we needed him to come narrower, influence the play, and leave that corridor for, for Matt Doherty to stay him drown. He was too wide and taking up Matt's space. And we, you know, we needed him to come in and link the play, and he did that brilliantly in the second half. And the thing about Jason that we know is that he's just got incredible stamina, the ability to. Speed, repeatability, the ability to keep going, 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 and that's as the game went on longer, the stronger he got, and that's that that's one of his strongest assets, you know. Yeah, and just finally for me, Stephen, on their goal, I mean, you've had this a relatively unbroken spell in the training ground since Friday. Like, how much of a concern is it for you now that, that you're conceding those soft goals from set pieces, given that you have had time to work on these things? No, we we didn't uh, we didn't um, concede any goals from set pieces since. I took over except the second phase against England you know when it was we cleared it out and then they knocked it back in for Harry Maguire Harry Wings picked it up and in the friendly and knocked it back in after on the second phase but we haven't conceded a goal from a set play but that was a poor one today it's no doubt about that from a wide free kick so I'll have to have a look at that um, it's not something we've been focusing on um, defending set pieces because you know, there's only so much, you know, we, we haven't had that long, you know, we've only had four days or, five, you know, five days or whatever, because you have to give a day off in between that, you know, uh, so you can train every day coming into a match, so it's, um, we haven't been focusing on defending set pieces, we've been trying to, working on sort of creative elements of our game if we can, within the different systems, but um, the, um, but no, it was a bad goal to concede today, there's no getting away from that, and uh, it's not like us to concede a goal like that from a wide free kick, and I don't, I don't like that. Okay, only five minutes left, so please keep it to one question from here on in. Uh, Ed Leahy. Hi, Stephen. Uh, I suppose congratulations on the first win. Uh, Thanks, I hope, I'm sure it will uh, lead to, to uh, a bit of confidence in the in the squad. But just let me go back to the first half, Stephen, and, and the. The minute of composed play that arrived before James Collins' chance, I think it was the 36th minute, what was the first real composed passage of play in the game? Surely that's one of the fundamentals of your philosophy that, and like, why didn't that happen? You know, that should be surely happening in the first 10 minutes to really get a, a feel for the, for the formation or for the, for the setup. That must, be, that must disappoint you, does it? Now, listen, I think um, if we watch the early parts of, say, Hungry when they played um, Andorra in the recent qualifier they didn't actually create a chance in the whole first half but they scored from a corner kick in the 46th minute just in the injury time it was a sort of pivotal uh, thing for in the moment in the match and they set up in a way that they, you know they can be difficult to break down at times but we, as I explained already we weren't cohesive um, in, in our past, our midfield were too deep, and uh, we found it difficult. Our, our, 
uh, our wide players. Probably our most effective player was probably James McLean actually in the first half and that period uh, coming from left back and Conor Hurahan was giving him a, a decent supply of passes from that left side of central position to yeah but the next pass wasn't wasn't effective after that, you know, bar crossing, you know, so we, we, we fell down in that in that in that period, you know, and yeah, but it's not it's not always easy and sometimes the game the goal, Troy's goal was a bit of a turning point I think because confidence then you could feel a bit of the confidence and we were then really flying down and got goals but as you say we'll have to improve for for Hungary on um Tuesday because they're they've done very well and we'll have to we'll have to improve for that game. Neil Raiden please. Hi Stephen. Um, just Hi, Neil. Just when you when you fall one nil behind obviously you're aware that if it stays like that there's going to be a lot of criticism a lot of questions about your position. Are you able to retain clarity in those moments and just focus on the match or that those kind of thoughts into your head or Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not, not gonna lie to you. Like it was disappointing to concede the goal and you know, I think uh I'm saying, you know, um so you just have to you know, focus on the game very quickly. You know, not panic into making sort of too many substitutions too quickly or too many changes. Um that's listen, I don't know you know, I'm not saying all the answers but I'm just saying that was sort of thought tra- tra- process um, we probably needed on you know we needed a, a natural winger definitely at that period probably and to come on and Daryl Daryl's not been playing um, much for Wickham since March he had a great spell all season played a lot and he's been out of the team there since the last window so I felt he would be more effective coming into the game um, as the game opened up just to his lack of match fitness and he did terrifically well when he came on and obviously got an assist on a goal um, which is his fourth international goal so they, they supplied each other Daryl cross for Jason Jason cross for Daryl so it was good to see that and uh, there were two very good goals and uh, so listen the players um, showed a degree of composure themselves um, nothing to do with me they showed a degree of, you know they composed themselves to to uh, to get back into the game and um, and Troy showed for one so young because there's a bit of pressure when you can see the goal like that in the place you're, the expectation is you win we've not been on a good run you can see the goal there is an element of pressure of course and uh, so Troy he's not had a great he's not had his best season and yet he showed uh, a lot of character I felt and that's um Sort of what I felt when the game, like as an under twenty one manager, when I seen when Troy went to play the way in Sweden against a very good Sweden team, Troy came into that game in that position, and in the games in the melting pot got two goals, and I felt, you know, you could really see his character, the ability to elevate, to do stuff, um, in a, in a match of that caliber, to get two goals in that. So that sort of it hasn't been perfect for him. He's still got more improvement to do. And learning to do, and um, he'll play against better opposition than he did today. But um, but it just shows you mentally that he had the capacity to do that when it was going against us today. And that was for one so young. That was that was um, that was encouraging. And final question from Gavin, please. You know what he was going to do on first goal. I mean, well, some of us might have thought yeah. he got a bit too infield. He could have hit it to the far corner. Did you did you know exactly what he was going to do? Reverse uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's yeah. That would probably be more natural for him. Yeah, the way he started coming, it was it was a very good finish. Very good finish. Final question from Gavin, please. Um, Stephen, uh, con- considering the season that Troy's had, what what was the thinking behind starting? Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of people said, hey, "Why is he in the squad? He should be in it with the under twenty ones," and he hasn't justified it and so forth and. Um, just I think uh, um, <clears throat> we needed to have a goal threat there. We knew we'd have a lot of a lot of play. We felt we had we'd have you know we'd have a degree 
of playing wide areas and we would get crosses on as a he is a very high ten like a, as opposed to other players that he gets he becomes a second striker at times and uh, gets in the box and he can link the play and, and then get in the box and he has the capacity to score goals and I just felt it would give us an extra impetus in that regard. So that was sort of the thought process uh, when that and also you know we want to sort of have a bit of conviction as well that just because because we're on a bad run not to say right we'll, we'll go away from what we were doing and just scrap it because we're under pressure and um you know uh, and i think um you know we show we wanted to show a bit of conviction in players like Bazuna and o'Shea and and uh and knight and part and others but because they've done well, they've done, they've done like the other players have done well in matches. But it's um, you know, as you say, we get a bigger test on against Hungary. They'll be, they'll be, they'll be a tough game against against Hungary on on Tuesday. Okay, guys. Well